Hello there, this is Will with Travel with Will and I'm in Lausanne today. I've just had a nice bit of lunch and a few drinks. It's very pretty. This beautiful flag here. And we're going to head up to the old town. So I thought I'd just give you a spin around this square. <clears throat> and very commonly in the Geneva Up, so Canton Geneva, we don't have these, but in Lausanne, Neuchâtel, Bern, Zurich, they've got these lovely statues at the fountains. Yeah, and I thought we'd have a nosy around, why not? There's very significant um, architecture here, it's very beautiful, but it's kind of, you've got a mix of the modern and the new, and we'll see that when we're up at the old town here. Ah, they've got a fondue there. If you like fondue, I did do a, oh, God, I'm just spotting stuff everywhere. So let's have a look at these. Even the drains are nice in Switzerland. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I like Lausanne, by the way. Lausanne is uh, it's super cool. It's a student town. It's very pretty. It's an international city as well. I don't quite know where it comes in the order of um, size, but it's in Canton Vaux. They speak French. And yeah, it seems to be a bit more relaxed compared to Geneva. Geneva's more of a... Um, Geneva is the ultimate um, international city in Switzerland with Zurich, but this is a very small city. You can pretty much do it over a weekend, to be honest. And I'm going to be absolutely buggered when we get to the top of here. <laughs> Actually, last night I had a few drinks, so I've got the shades on, although it's not hot. But you know, you've got to enjoy yourself. If you're, if you're here, you've got to have some fun. And you're going to need to bring some pocket money. Raid that piggy bank if you come into to Switzerland in general. And I'll actually turn you around to have a look at this in a minute. Yes. So you've got like this weird mix of modern and old. So which way are we going to go? So it's just little, really pretty little gardens like this. Oh, I love it. It kind of reminds me of being in kind of York or even Oxford in a weird way, like this, the size. And I will be, yeah, I should really go to England because that's where I'm from, obviously. And. Uh, Oh, I'm exhausted. I need to do some more cardio. Yeah, if you come here, don't bother going to the gym because you'll be very exhausted. So just to give you a little idea of where we are, down where we just started is kind of the start of what I like to call the old town. But where we're going now is 100% the old town. And down here is Le Flon, which is the new part of Lausanne. And over here is the main market square, which is not on today. So it's just, you know, it's not worth having a look at unless the market's on. I have done a walk around there though on my other channel, Walks with Will. Yeah, you will find a lot of uh, tourists with the young kids, they are struggling with the walking as well. Got loads of little cubby holes here. Got loads of little areas through here like this. But because I know the city, I know that nothing leads down there. But this is stunning up here. So this is the cathedral. Oh, it's beautiful, very beautiful. Yeah. It's just the attention to detail. 
and everything's signposted as well, even on the stairs. So you can't get lost here. And you've got the signposts here as well. So we'll actually check out the view. So Lausanne's on Lac Lemon, the same lake as Geneva, or Geneva Lake, some people call it. And you'll see the difference between the architecture. So we've got a strange mix of modern and old. And there is the lake. And this is the Jura mountain here, that's France. And this is Evian, and there is the French mountains as, as well. So that's Port de Soleil. And we will be going round the lake at some point. So please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know where, where would you like to see in Switzerland or France. I'll be going to Italy soon. Oh, a little boy in trouble. Too much candy. <laughs> Bless him. Uh, one thing you'll find about Switzerland is um, they love the clock towers. I just love these old towns. I just love them. Absolutely love them. I, I don't know why in England we don't have the like the division between the old and the new town, but it's definitely a French. Spanish Swiss thing. So here's the cathedral. And yeah, we'll just have a walk around. It's very touristy. It's, it's quite quiet today, it's a Monday. And there's loads of little um, offices where people are working, uh, lots of graphics work. And of course, Lausanne is known for its biology research. Uh, this, you know, in Geneva, it's more physics with CERN, and here it's more biology. So, uh, so you've got lovely little things like this. Bonjour. So these are the, imagine, um, actually, just imagine having a few drinks here with that lovely view there. Yeah, but nothing's open, it's too early. Yes, yeah, very pretty. I do have a friend of mine who works here. So, hello Rob, I know you get the train from Geneva. And here's a little, because we're in Canton Vaux, you see the um, green and white, that's the flag of Canton Vaux. Let's have a little look in here as well. I just love showing you these things because it just adds to it for me as well. The one thing about vlogging is, and YouTube in general, is uh, it's the thing that I think is not going to be nice for you to see is the thing that you like the most, which is very strange. So you can't predict what people want to see. But I love these little fountains here. Yeah, it's just a very pretty old town. I've done a video on my channel about um, Geneva Old Town being my favorite, and that is 100% true. But if you're in Geneva for the week, I would definitely come here for a day trip. Um, there's gonna be the Uchi video, which is the lakeside of Lausanne. Then you've got the Old Town. And then also we'll have a quick look at the um, main shopping street. So this is the main square. And then we're going to see the old, um, you know, kind of where you, when you defend the city, 
from an invader, you have the hill. We're going to see that in a minute. But this is a lovely building. Have a look at this. Then you've got a lovely view here as well. And this is the same cathedral we saw before. It's very... Sometimes the Swiss cities are a bit like mi mix and match. I don't know who designed them, but because there's so many really beautiful buildings, you'd think that they'd put more emphasis on keeping the, the style. But when we look down here, you're gonna see a lot of new buildings which aren't very nice. And I noticed that in Interlaken as well, which we have to do, funnily enough. You can still see the lake from here. So yeah, this is definitely confirmation that we're in the old town here. If you look at this hill, And then the same thing again. If that is the lake over here, obviously. Then we have where the white tower building is. That's where the newer part of town is. Then if you head up here, you're going to the highway back out of the city. And yeah, so let's see if these people will speak to us. Sorry, excuse me, do you speak English? Uh, where are you from? Belgium. Belgium. Oh, do you mind if I, I'm doing a quick vlog? Do you, can I just ask you, what do you think of Lausanne? <laughs> you can. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We just, uh, we are here for two days. Two days? Yeah, and and have uh, you been to Geneva? No, no. We are just visiting someone ah, living okay. in Lausanne. So, because so, I was just saying to the viewers, because uh, I know Geneva quite well and Zurich, Bern, and it's kind of strange how the architecture is old and then you have these buildings which aren't very nice have you noticed that where the, it's the one in front of us yeah so it's like mm -hmm. they've kind of just mixed it up so yeah, there's not yeah. much thought into the landscape yeah yeah and uh, yeah. i don't know if you noticed also the the parliament there yeah it's quite also new but it fits in the, in the old building exactly yeah. yeah so this so. lady you notice the same thing both of you that it's they've not put a, I mean, look over there, and then look over here. The, yeah. They could have made it a bit prettier, the view from here, couldn't they? Yeah, yeah. same kind of colours. and Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. And where are you from in Belgium? Brussels. Aha, uh -huh. so yes. I have been there, actually. Um, but it's expensive, yeah? Mm. Less than here, no? Well, that was my <laughs> next question. So just, <laughs> just, just a quick uh, thing, because a lot of tourists will be watching. Is the pricing here, did it surprise you in Lausanne? Um, a bit, but not as much as I expected, I think. Yeah. Uh, we were prepared. Yeah, we were prepared yeah. to have Switzerland a bit uh, ex more expensive than France, for instance. Well, I remember having a cheesecake in Brussels and it was six euros. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. Whereas yeah, in usual. Geneva, they might be about five francs. So I thought Brussels was a bit like London, where it depends the, also the the areas. Yeah. In in Brussels. Yeah, that's true. If you are in fancy place, of course it's. A well, I just paid eight francs for a cup of coffee. Eight francs. Yeah. That's a lot. For a <laughs> tiny one. Okay. It was at the Chateau Ducci. Ah, okay. Have you been to no. Ducci? No. Oh, you just get the metro from down there. Ah, yeah, yeah. And it's I think the it's metro for Ducci? both of you okay. it's four four sixty. Mm -hmm. But here's a little tip for you. The Geneva is cheaper than here. Oh uh, yeah? Yeah, okay. in my opinion. And okay. the public transport is, and Geneva's also a, a little bit cleaner. Okay. If you wanna, if you wanna see the, the Swiss. Maybe another time. Yeah. We are going to go here after that. Oh really? Oh yeah. cool, yeah. So I'll be going there as well. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, ask which cheeses they put in. In the Goyer? Yeah, because it, no, in the fondue, sorry. If you ah, have yeah, a fondue, yeah. Because yeah. the fondue there is where the, both the cheeses come from. Vacherin and Gruyère. Exactly, uh -huh. yeah. And it's from Canton Freiburg. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, but thank you for uh, speaking because it's always nice to hear an opinion. Okay. And I hope I I will come to your country soon. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, Enjoy it. Bye. Oh, so there was some nice people from Belgium. Whenever someone says Belgium, I think of Tintin. <laughs> and funny enough, Tintin did go to Neon, which is near here, Canton Vaux. So yes, we'll end with this man here. He looks very excited. He looks like he's... Actually, I don't want to say it. Look what he looks like he's doing. <laughs> he's got one hand in a very peculiar place. Or maybe I have a dirty mind. But thank you very much. It was a pleasure to show you the Lausanne Old Town. And please let me know if you've been or where you would like me to go next. So yes, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.